Today, we'll provide a bit of an introduction to the concept of linear parameter linking in OpenVSP. Now, fundamentally, any two exposed parameters in OpenVSP can be linked together through a relationship that's, it basically looks like this. So you have parameter A and parameter B driven by a scale and an offset according to this equation. You can see I've already set up a couple of these here and those are reflected in the buttons. So green means that this is a driving variable. Red means that it's being driven from somewhere. And in fact, if we click on these, it'll bring up the parameter box. On the links tab, you can see what these are all linked to, in this case, root cord. And it's linked from the span. So it all makes sense. It just describes where you can track down these links. Now, if I were to come in and play around with these parameters, you can see that I've prescribed this simple relationship where the cord is some percentage of the span at all times. And it's kind of an arbitrary, silly example, but it demonstrates the point that you can put a linear relationship between these two parameters. This is also true for things like VSP arrow settings or CompGeom or Parasite Drag. You can enforce parameters to be linked together in a variety of different ways. So feel free to experiment and use your engineering judgment or your design judgment to do what you need it to do. Now, there could be some cases where you might want to, say, enforce the length of several different components and let the cross sections in between those two points vary. That's fine. You can do that. And in fact, we'll provide an example of creating parametric clones in a different video. But for this example, you can see that these two geometric parameters can be hooked up to make the wing behave in interesting and kind of silly ways. Now, Keep in mind that as you enforce these parameters, you want to make sure that, again, that you're not causing any sorts of conflicts. So we'll get into that a little bit more later as well. But this has been a simple overview to the idea of parameter linking, and we'll go into a bit more detail in follow-up videos.